Guys, if all goes according to plan, part of this vacant lot near the corner of Tucker Road and Tehachapi Boulevard will be turned into a super Walmart here in Tehachapi. And that's something that residents I spoke to today say can only help their small town community. Definitely in favor of it. More freedom of choice. Um, competition for sure. There's a long list of reasons that some residents of Tehachapi have for wanting a Walmart in their town. We're not going to have to drive an hour to Bakersfield. Job opportunities, that's, that's a huge benefit for Tehachapi. Uh, we need more job opportunities. And they might finally be getting it. It was stamped final approval yesterday on the court paperwork. It's something that has been in the making for a very long time and has been at a stalemate since 2011 when a group called Tehachapi First appealed the project. Opponents of the Walmart project bring up environmental concerns and a desire to keep Tehachapi the way it is, with that small town feeling. But supporters argue that having to drive well out of town to do affordable bulk shopping just doesn't make sense. You have to drive 45 minutes in either direction. And I don't think that that's right. And it's a commute that busy families can't always keep up with. What I really need to be able to do is once a week. What I can realistically do is once a month, once every couple months. As threatening as a corporate giant like Walmart might sound to a competing business, supporters say that competition might actually help. A lot of the small businesses here, they have a very unique niche of what they sell and, you know, custom made items and things, things you're not going to find at Walmart. They will need to become more innovative and more competitive and more customer uh, friendly. And I think there's enough people here that support the local small businesses that I don't think they're going to have to worry about that. And as far as other concerns go, like traffic, we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, people are working together here. Traffic will be mitigated as best as it can. So we'll just have to see how it all comes together. And we did reach out to that Tehachapi First group that's been opposing this project since the beginning. Unfortunately, we did not hear back from them. In Tehachapi, Brandon Johansson, 23 ABC News.